Hello everyone, welcome to Advanced Bay, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dimitri. I came to the United States when I was only 13 years old, in 1994. Since then, I was introduced by my father to automotive business. When I was a teenager, I was buying flipping cars. My first company was established in 2002 and my second corporation was established in 2011, Advanced Bay, Inc. You can check my website down below, advancedbay.com. And I also have my eBay store. I've been selling on eBay since 2005. For 15 years, I've been on eBay selling automotive used car parts. So down below, I also have the link to my store. What I want to share with you guys and show you guys my next project. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any episode. This is 2011 Porsche Panamera 4S. I bought it for parts. I will part this car out. And on my YouTube channel, I want to show you guys the whole process, how we dismantle the whole car. And let me show you guys a little bit more what I just purchased and brought it, brought it here. So it's going to be a long process of taking everything apart. In comments below, please comment and you know, let me know what would you guys want to see on this car. For example, how to take fenders out, how to take doors out, glass, mirror, anything. Anything you guys are interested, let me know. Here is the, here is the damage on this car. Damage is really, really bad. Look at the engine. I'm surprised that this engine didn't, it wasn't pushed inside into a firewall. As you can see, engine head right here, it's all torn apart it's a v6 v6 porsche panamera i have a video on my youtube channel you, you guys can see it we drove one with um, 680 horsepower so this is you know more basic model it's a v6 Here is the spoiler and spoiler I, be I believe goes up and down by the way I never dismantled uh, Porsche Panamera so this is gonna this will be a new project as well for me to learn in my past I dismantled a lot of cars but not the not the Porsche so this is gonna be cool interesting process of dismantling I want to show you guys every detail of the car and it's got a 22 inch rim a very expensive rims right here Forgiato this is the rims, very expensive. I checked the price online. Um, they start from 1200 and up. So this is, you know, really expensive high, high end rims. Pretty cool roof. And I'm back to the damage side right here. As you guys can see it. So, you know, the frame frame rail right here this is the frame rail right here as you guys look at it guys so this is this is why you don't you don't want to speed you don't want to speed because you will end up in a de in, a, in a wreck like this i hope transmission is good on this car <clears throat> i believe it, it's gonna be okay so i got a good fender you know we we can save the fender i know the calipers and they cost a bit so this is it's pretty cool this is the calipers little turn light right here mirror scratched up a little so um, by the way, if anyone want to comment on this, 
I have this sticky plastic, you know, th there was a white plastic they cover from water damages. Um, this glue, if you guys can comment and let me know what's the best way to clean this glue. I know it's really hard to clean them, but th we can save this door, front door, the side skirt will be saved too. The rear door will be saved as well. As far as the quarter panels, everything is good. The tail lights are good. And here is another rim. Oh, by the way, I want to show you guys. This is pretty cool. These rims, they have this the centerpiece. It's got a, a balance, a weight at the bottom. So whenever the wheels are spinning, uh, this pretty much stays at the same, you know, at one position. You know, as you can see it, they spin by by themselves right here. It's pretty cool. This is why these rims are expensive. Back to my car. We got the spoiler. We got the tail lights. Um, in comments below, guys, I have the key, but I so far I didn't turn the ignition. I know there is a button right here at the bottom to open the, the trunk, but I couldn't do that yet. So tail lights are good. We'll save them. And I believe this passenger side door, rear door, should be safe too. So guys, if you guys know anyone who are interested in parts for this kind of car, uh, let me know uh, down in the description below there is my information uh, i'm not sure if i have my phone number there but you can contact me through comments so if you guys need some parts of this car and i want to show you guys interior too so this is the door panels right here um, subscribe to my channel and you know keep watching every episode i will show you guys process how we dismantled this car like how we you know the, pull the door panels out so you will you know you can do it yourself too later on this is the rear door the interior so far so so far it's clean it's not bad. Here is some more better light lighting. The airbags blue on this car, of course. Let me get into back seat so I can show you guys a little bit more inside. Once I cut the airbags, you guys will have better view, better picture, uh, better view of, of the interior. But it's, it's nice. Beautiful car, really beautiful car. What do you guys think? Have you guys owned one? Porsche Panamera, any comments? Maybe you guys wanna share, you know, with other subscribers about this car what you know what problems this car have if you guys know and uh, you know let us know we would want to hear a little bit more about this car so this is the interior that's the trunk inside I would say for a family car, it's pretty spacey. I think this is the common problem I'll show you guys on this, um, probably German cars. They have this common problem. Here is the, the liner, headliner. It's kind of got unglued. I'm not sure why, what happened here. It shouldn't be like this. But we don't, you know, we usually we don't save this. <clears throat> the headliners from the cars so 
it's got a cup holder center console I, I like this you have the the vents in the back or right here I am not sure about this key if you guys can let me know in comments below what is this little key switch is doing I see that it's it's a heated seats the rear seats are heated right here but I'm not sure about this maybe it's the locking lock and unlock the doors also it's got a cup holder here a cigarette lighter and two cigarette lighter spots so there is that yeah, pretty cool I mean this is the vents are right here and also there's vents right here on the side of the you know the pillar the side pillar right here so what else is here let me see it and this is the ashtray right here in the, in the door so but of course you don't want to smoke in this kind of car why would you This is the view from the back seat. And let me get into to the front seats right now. Uh, as far as the, the, the room inside this car, I would say it's it's has enough room for legs for, for the legs right here. So it's got enough of that, it's got enough space. And let's see. Here is the speedometer. As usual, this is the Porsche speedometer. I like that they have this little circle. They have the circles on the cluster. That's pretty cool. And what else we have here? We have the I have the key right here, but it, I can't turn the key because. I mean, I can turn it, I can't pull the key out to open up a trunk. So the vents here. And it, it has navigation, all the switches right here, shifter. I didn't do a research yet. Uh, I, was, I wonder how many speed transmission this car is. So... And position I believe this is for the floor the seat I believe also should be a cup holder let me see if I can open this yeah I don't know no this is actually a lighter with the ash tray has a cup holder right here I want to cut the airbags I hope you guys can see this. Airbags are caught, it's all done, it's actually now we can see a blown airbag with the logo right here. Nice, I think the steering wheel was, it's, it's good, I'm gonna save it, we'll try to sell it. So interesting how many miles this car had. But here is a little sticker right here. I found a little sticker. I hope you guys can see this. So the next oil change shouldn't it was next oil change was supposed to be done when the car would have 98,000 miles. So the transmission for 2011, it's not bad. I mean, this is a good good transmission. 
And uh, I don't know if I want to cut that side. It's a little bit uncomfortable. I guess now we're not gonna cut that airbag. So that's it, that's about it. I hope you guys will be watching my next videos. How we how we're gonna take this car apart for parts. So my videos will come soon. I will start posting all the videos um, probably next week. I want to invite you guys for this cool journey with me. Dismantling 2011 Porsche Panamera 4S. So please subscribe and continue watching my videos. Please support me on, on, on YouTube. By subscribing to my channel, you will support my channel. And I hope, you know, I can help you guys a little bit more understanding this car, how this Porsche is built. Thank you. Thank you for watching.